Hey everybody. Hi everybody. We are at Timeless Treasures. We are Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. And we are full-time resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. We are at the booth and we're going to do a little more than just kind of show you us working it. 1717 O Street. O Street, Lincoln, Nebraska. Yes. So anyway, we're going to go in. We got, we learned a lot lately by the more we sold at the booth. Yes. And so with it being football season, sales are really good, but we're gonna work, we're gonna take some things out. We'll show you that right. and we're gonna bring some more things in. And Halloween in. is coming, so we're bringing Halloween and while, stuff in. Yes, Halloween is coming. And while she's working the booth, I'm gonna take you around the store and kind of show you around. Oh, so yeah. we're gonna do a little uh, tour of the store tour today. Tour of the store, right. All right, let's go. Right this way. Go. And we're gonna find Bob. There he is. There he is. He's working. Say yep. hi, Bob. Bob's a hard worker. Uh -huh. Hi. <laughs> oh, you're doing it now. You, we're you, doing it now. Make sure you good. stop in and say hi to Bob. Yeah, this is Bob. You've all seen Dan. This yeah. is Bob. He's yeah. here all the time. Some days Bob's grouchy. Some days he's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Just give him a hug. He'll smile for you. Yeah. <laughs> so if you ever come in here and you know, you've seen Dan on private previous videos and Bob is here, it's usually one of those two in the front. You can tell him that uh, Steve and Donna sent you, and they'll know who you're talking about. So. We're gonna go back here and see how things look. And you go to the deer head. Turn left at the deer. Turn left at the deer. And then you turn right. And we're right back in this cubby back here. If you've never seen it before, I think most people have. My goodness, it looks like it's been stirred up a bit. Yep. It always looks like it's been stirred up a bit. Uh, usually there's a lot of clothes on the Somebody floor and things. Open something. We sold, there was a Misfit shirt there, that yeah. sold. Um, we know it's a little bit tidied up because we have friends, Angie and Ed, and they, they sent us a picture of getting candy out of our machine. And uh, they hung tidied up some clothes up. and tidied things up for us. And when I walk around later, I'm gonna show you their booth so you can see what they sell. You can come down and buy from them. First of all, we gotta clean up the, the leftovers that are still there from the candy machine. Got some empty spots to fill on our shelves here. Got some clothes to rehang up. We're actually going to take some of the clothes out and put more Husker stuff in. There are some just kind of hanging around and on the floor that we have to pick up. I'm going to tidy up the shelves. We're going to change what's here. We're taking out Star Wars and some of the banks. We'll actually probably all of the banks because we haven't been selling any of these vintage banks so we're going to take out those and rearrange a little bit got some halloween stuff but we're going to tidy it up so it should look completely different well a little bit different anyway we've got a lot of halloween stuff to put away so i'm going to get busy with that and steve's going to be bringing me more stuff all right, so while Donna's working, the first thing we're gonna do before we go we'll walk around the store a little bit is we gotta check the candy machine. I know that we've got at least one quarter because oh, house. Donna's playing with the playing with the inventory now. Um, we know we have at least one quarter because Ed and Angie came and they bought some peanuts, I believe. All right, let's see if there's more than one quarter. We have one, two, three. Four, is that it? <laughs> Four quarters. <laughs> so, one dollar. Obviously, we don't film every time we come, but every time we come, there's uh, usually like between one and three dollars in there. So, is it making us money? Is it gonna make us money? No, but Donna thinks it's fun. Hey, you know, I know when we come, I can throw a quarter in and get something to eat. So, you know, we're gonna keep it. It's just for fun at this point. All right, I'm gonna take a minute while Donna works the store and we're gonna walk around the store and kind of see what things there are here. So if you wanna stop in the store, you know what you're looking for. So Donna, get to work, keep working, <laughs> do good. Okay, okay, I'll try. So as you leave our area, it's just random. And tell in the comments, leave in the comments like what your antique stores, do they look anything like this? Um, there's lots of stuff here back here this is maddie maddie has this booth Hi and guys. this booth 
he puts clothes tons and tons of clothes hanging up here it's really nice uh, when it's all done this is one of the spots when we thought about quitting that Dan pointed us out to and says that this booth does really really well so your booth has been an inspiration to us. Oh, thank you. Okay, it looks empty right now, but once I work on it, it'll be full and, and all Yeah, we'll those. come back before we leave. We'll show what this looks like Perfect. when you're done. So All right. All nice right. to meet you guys. <laughs> and he also works here at the store sometimes part-time, uh, Bob said. So, uh, first time meeting him, that's cool. So, let's if you go this way to the very back of the store, here's like a booth with just old like I'm the wrong person to be doing this because I would call these, are they quilts? I think they're quilts, quilts and linens. And then we got some, all kinds of stuff. Here's some like stereo components and things. I mean, it's a plethora of tons and tons and tons of things. Back here we have a mainly NASCAR booth. I believe this is a friend of ours. Nate, I believe this is his booth back here. Just tons of stores, a lot of NASCAR stuff. The lights are flickering, messing with me. And we got some comic books. I gotta keep talking because there's music and I don't want to get struck down because that would be a bummer. Here's more antique type pieces back here. Um, they're definitely older. A little bit of records right there. It's a big store. I'm not going to focus too much on one spot because there's so much room to cover. But I just want to kind of show what it's, highlight a couple things here. Show what the place is like. And this is the turn going to our booth. And if you go down this way, those of you that have been watching for a long time, you might remember this was our spot before. This was our second spot in this booth. This was, now it's all books. The same person has all books all the way around. We had this corner didn't do really well that's where we were at when we came in to give our notice that we were going to leave the booth and not have a booth but we ended up back where we are now which is great and then back in this corner got all kinds of these like i think they're cake molds are they actual cake molds or are they decorations i don't really know so i'm not that well versed in that uh it's more kind of in antique vintage a lot of Corel plates and Corning ware. And some cobalt stuff up there. We like the cobalt stuff. And then this booth, they got, this is a nice booth. They got a lot of cool things. A lot of clothing. This is kind of like what we like to do. A lot of clothing and then have some fun stuff. Got a little more dishes than what we like to do. We tried dishes. We tried, in the first booth, the glass booth, which I'll show you in a minute, we had a lot of knick-knacky stuff and... That did not do well. So uh, there's back here. Don't really go back to this side much. Got some records here, and then oh, this is like a media. That's right. This is like VHS tapes and DVDs, and somebody that focuses on just all that. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That is fifteen dollars. I like that a lot. The Metallica poster. I'm gonna tell a story when we get to the poster booth of what's going on. Actually, I'll just tell you now. I always go back, there's a booth and we'll, I'll show it to you, but it has just almost all posters and then wall hangings, like college kids style stuff. And I always go back there and look at the posters because, you know, I used to have posters when I was young. Well, in the office, you haven't really seen much of our office, but I have a record player and speakers and stuff. Eventually, we're gonna move our piano to our kid's house He's getting the piano and then I'm gonna move the record player downstairs. And at that point in time, we're gonna like redo that, repaint it and everything. And then I'm gonna get a couple posters from here, just kind of make it my my own vibe. So I'll show you that in a little bit. Over here, we got more antique type stuff here. There's a doll. She's staring into your soul, I'm pretty sure. Don't blink, don't blink. And her little friend. And let's see, let's go out of here, and then we're going to go back towards the front of the store, got some clothes here, another booth here, and then here, this spot right here, 
This is Angie and Ed, our friends. They came to the reseller dinner and they have this booth. They have two booths and I'll show you the other one too, but this is where they do a lot of Husker clothes, just like we do. And I'm telling you, since football season started, we're selling a lot of Husker stuff. So this is all theirs, lots of plush. They got lots of plush, but they got a great spot here. It's right in the very center of the store, right in the middle from the front to the back and right along the aisle. So great setup for them. Their other booth is a little tougher to find Actually, there's somebody back there right now. We'll hit that in a little bit. Here's a booth with some antique -y stuff. A lot of more antiques. It's funny, when you say antique store uh, anymore, it's like half antiques and half not antiques. They used to, Dan didn't like clothes in here for a long time is what I've heard. But once uh, he realized this stuff sells really good, then, then it's a whole nother ball game. So... There's a lot of military, old military stuff here. That's kind of cool. And I don't know, guys, if I'm going too fast or, or if you can't hear me or whatever. I have to keep talking because of the music. And obviously I can't show you everything. There's way too much stuff to show you. But lots of cool stuff. Some autographed little mini helmets. Some decanters. There's a Dale Earnhardt bowling ball. And then back in this corner, we are way back in the corner now, there's some Hot Wheels wall and some more toys and random stuff back here. Some boots. I don't know that I've ever come all the way back into this corner before. There's some vintage corning wear and stuff, or Pyrex, I mean. So, yeah, this is way back in the corner here. So then, we go out here. Let's see if if Angie and Ed's booth has opened up yet. All right, let's go towards the front of the store. There's still somebody in Angie and Ed's booth. Got some like bigger things here. There's some funky Guns N' Roses pants. Wonder if those, man, if only those fit me, Donna would love that. Maybe not. Um, there's a big old steam trunk or whatever i don't know what they call them steamer trunk steam trunk i don't know some records i always have some records here now there's some camouflage clothes they always have a good selection of camouflage right here and as we go back over here a whole bunch more knickknacks and antiques and all kinds of stuff and we're almost the way the, the music is getting much louder so i'm gonna have to t keep talking and right here is my, probably my favorite spot to look around, except for that. Boo, we don't like that. Uh, other than that, like there's everything, just like when you're a kid. There's music, there's comics, there's video games right there. There's uh, the Joker, there's the Beatles. There's always Jordan pictures. I might give me a Jordan picture when I finally do that. There's Taylor Swift. I don't know if there's Travis Kelsey on there somewhere. Uh, but anyway, they get a good selection, and I know they sell a lot of them, so it turns over pretty good. But they have just tons and tons of posters in here. Um, anyway, I don't know if you can see those, the Goonies. Who doesn't love the Goonies? That's like my age. So yeah, just some fun stuff. And then wall hangings like the beer caps, bottle cap, wall hangings. College kids, I think, really dig those. So they're usually really full. They've obviously sold some for over the weekend. Here we got some old antique stuff, dresser. And then a lot of these booths are kind of more of the same and some are really, really full like this. Um, just got a lot of stuff, lots and lots of stuff. If you're into this kind of thing, you could spend a lot of time here looking booth to booth for different kinds of treasures. There's a bunch of cast iron stuff. Here's some tractors. I haven't really seen many tractors, which is kind of surprising. So, um, I'm really close to the speaker. I'm gonna kind of go quickly through here. So I can try to get avoid that car copyright strike. Here is a nice little Husker display booth with a lot of Husker stuff right by the front door. Got some video games in the cabinet here. Here's some uranium glass up in this cabinet. So that's kind of cool. And up here by the 
by the cash register. They got tons and tons and tons of jewelry. And we have coins and all kinds of small trinketries type stuff. Here we got some coins all in here. And then this whole section here, the next three aisles are all like locked glass boots. I think they're mostly locked with just tons and tons of little jewelry items and trinkets and collectibles and stuff. This is the cabinet we had at first. I think we did. We, uh, we might even just had half the cabinet or it might have been the whole thing. This is where we were. Didn't really work for us because we're not really good with the little antique, the doodads, the little little things. Um, so we had it all locked at first and that didn't work. So then we unlocked half it. Then we took the doors off and the doors are still off so people can get to some stuff. And then they could lock up the other stuff down here. Like the watches and stuff, they're all locked up. So, yep, that's our uh, old booth right there. And then down here, a lot of, you know, more of the same. Here's some toys, video game type stuff. I see Harry Potter, I see X-Men, I see Super Mario, uh, Thunder Power Rangers, Thunder Bikes, um, Naruto, I think that is, I don't know. Um, just lots of toy stuff. And here's some more spawn wakanda forever it's more interesting things there's some band shoes and here's your old tractors and die casts stuff like that and then jewelry over here you can see lots of cool stuff there is tons and tons and tons of stuff to see in this store um i was going to show you the front counter underneath the front counter there's tons of jewelry but Bob's got a customer up there, so we're not gonna go bother them. We're gonna hit Angie and Ed's booth real quick. And I might have missed a nook and cranny here and there, but give you really an idea of how big this store is, how much stuff there is, the wide diversity of the items. It's crazy, there's a lot of brand new stuff and there's tons of old stuff. So if we go back here, this is where their booth in the aisle here is with the Husker stuff. So then across the aisle over here, they have this back section right in here. This is where they do a lot of toys and some more clothes. They obviously put the Husker stuff by the aisle to really try to get the eyeballs on them. But they have tons of plush and just old vintage toys, you know, are really the most fun. And there's also this room back here. I don't come back here much, but this is stuff Donna loves to find when we're out garage selling and stuff. The old glassware, hobnail, the possibly uranium, cranberry glass, cobalt. I don't think that's cobalt. This is cobalt. I've learned so much about glass since we started doing this a few years ago. The carnival glass, nesting hens, some more nesting hens. I would have never known what any of this stuff was a few years ago. Um, but yeah, lots of glassware back here. And yeah, here's some old... Thermoses, Pac-Man, and Goofy. Yeah, lots of, lots of cool stuff. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right there. Um, yeah, that's kind of the tour of the store. I'm gonna go back, check on Donna, see if she needs my help. We're gonna see if she's done. And we're gonna also check out that other booth and see if he's done with that. Hey, I wanted to, I'm right by a fan, so it's kind of loud, but I wanted to make sure to show Maddie's spot. Maddie took off. We talked for a bit, um, but he did get his spot finished, so look at, see, that looks really nice when he's got all them clothes hanging like that. So, that was kind of a big inspiration to us, because he, I know he sells a lot of clothes out of here. All right, here we go. Coming into the booth. Of course, we got the candy and the seat and the Husker stuff in the middle. Got a little ashtray there. And got some Oscar stuff along here. Got some new little plushes. Grogu and his crew. Oh, I was gonna take some clothes out. Didn't do that yet. Halloween stuff put in. It's 
Sorry, I'm supposed to be talking, I suppose. Changed up some of this over here. Moved some turtles around, put some Halloween things in here. Added some Halloween decorations. Isn't she cute? It's a fun one over here. This little lid closes. <laughs> um, yeah, this looks different. Up here. <laughs> so we've got some some fun things around. I've got a rubber skull and some spiders. A hand petting a dog. Got some quilts back in here. Oh, rubber foots. Quite a few new decorations. Steve's going to fix the wrestlers. I've got to go through. I've got to go through the clothes. Forgot to do that. Oh, I forgot to show you this guy. These are. Turtle wind chime. You can show off the wrestlers now, too. I can? Okay. Show off the wrestlers. Oh, smash. Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble. Yep. Smash down. <laughs> right. I hope I hope you guys like the change up. The All right, change. that's it. We're going to wrap this up because yes. I think our meter ran out out front, uh -oh. honestly. Okay. So. Yeah, a little change up. So we'd show you and show you the store and stuff. So it's been fun. Donna needs to get outside and get in the air conditioned <laughs> van. And we're going to go on to the next project. Yes. So, so come and visit us down here. Make sure you say hi to Bob and to Dan. Yes. If he's here. Yes. And Maddie. If he's... And Maddie. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Thanks all for watching. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I guess we'll like and subscribe, share with your friends. Do all that stuff. I'm we'll see get you. Me some candy. See you on the next one. Donna's going to get candy. See you later. Bye.